I did make a good choice in not only hiring her for a position we didn't really have, but allowing her to move up and trusting that she'll get herself there. My greatest hire came to me from Deloitte a couple of years ago as a gal that really wanted to do production. During the interview, I could tell she was very hungry, but she didn't have that much event experience. Her dream job was to produce the Grammys. I was a little bit hesitant that she was referred to us by a colleague and, and actually a client. At the time, the production coordinator role is really a supportive role, so I knew I could take a chance on her and I really needed her more to be a cultural fit rather than have all of the information. We knew that we could train her. I think because of her role at Deloitte and her background in accounting, she's very detail-oriented and it's definitely a box checker, which is really important in events because there's so many elements that needs to be captured and executed perfectly. The big surprise, though, was when her production manager left for another city, I had to make the choice. Do I bring someone in with production management skill already and keep her as a coordinator? And I decided she was doing 80% of the role of the production manager already. And so I decided to put her in that role and have her develop into that role and it did not take long at all. She's now wanting to be a director of production. Of course, I have to make sure she's ready so that if she leaves entire productions, that she actually has the experience and the details to have that title. And she is digging in deep and she is taking the initiative to learn things about AV, to do walkthroughs with sound engineers, to really understand. And she's doing this all on her own will. You can't ask for a better situation.